you're out there, bro. I think this is a mistake. Ready? No, I ready? Can't have more. No, go, go stop. <laughs> no, it's I not a ready more. thing. It's a counter thing. Which Five. I've got more. <laughs> four. Three. Two. One. It's gone. Yeah, it's gone. Good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode of the Charm Media Podcast. I am your host, James House. Joined as always <laughs> <laughs> by me, Jamie, Alex, Alex, <laughs> James, I'm James, and you. Uh, um, yeah, this is the show where we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I forgot about the hiccup thing. Yeah. What is it, 12 million? I was just reading, um, what, uh, if there, if there are hazards to, to eating a lot of spice, and we could all die. Really? Yeah, there's a high probability we're all gonna die. Did it say if it's above a certain Scoville or something? Yeah, this is it. This is the last episode. Oh, this is the suicide pact. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the Jarcast. We um we have lovely patrons who make the audio version of the show possible on Spotify and iTunes. We didn't buy enough milk. Yeah, you're nearly half done there. Yeah. Me. It's the only thing that fucking gives you a reprieve. You're out there, bro. I think this is a mistake. It's more of a question of how long does it last. It's normally like 15 minutes, right? Whereabouts is it? What pain are you on? Out of what? Mm. No, where in your body? Um, tongue. It's all tongue. It's yeah, mostly tongue, <clears throat> back of throat. You know that thing when you want to be sick. Well, at least I've stopped hiccuping. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, hooray! You stopped hiccuping. Oh, I see. I thought you were celebrating like the pain may be going, so I was getting hopeful. <sighs> Are you drinking the milk? No, I hate milk. If you ain't gonna drink any, I'll have some. James, you you need to drink something. Yeah, bro, you need that milk. If I hadn't had milk so far, I'd be dying right now. Uh, you can, can you actually die. No, I'm fucking with you. Ah, uh, I can I can episode. feel. <laughs> Were you actually worried about dying? Yes. <laughs> you can feel like every. Millimeter that that shit's moving through you. Mine's all in my throat. Really? Mine's like down here now. I can feel it going through me, guys. Now, surely the the amount of KFC you had has plugged the like hole uh, to your stomach. Oh f me. Mm. Mm. I'm getting the nose, baby. <laughs> you actually finished that milk. You can drink that. Don't touch it. <laughs> you need to savor that milk. That's the key. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> you're your now. Welcome to the welcome to the John Media episode two hundred and seventy. <coughs> Today, we head over to Reddit. For, for, for well, before we get too deep, there's actually an anecdote I wanted to throw out there. Yeah, I was in uh, I was in TK Maxx the other day. And um, actually got recognised by by Jarling. No way! Hey, no way! <sighs> fuck! Fuck! Give me a sec. Oh man! It's not even the mouth that's causing me grief. It's the stomach. 
That's because you ate so much KFC. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Yo, that fucking helped loads. Really? <laughs> Yo, I just spat like a bunch of milky gunja into this. <laughs> um, oh, I'm getting the shakes. My fucking legs, my my <laughs> toes are fucking shaking, bro. I guess you're getting rid of the oil. <sighs> it's moving down. So you you met this this um person? I was browsing socks in TK Maxx. Cool, cool, good aisle. Um. And I get the... Hey, are you... Are you Alex from Jam Media? He didn't say I ate cheat. He said, he said Jam Media, I think. He says he's been a listener since 2015. I misheard his name as Ben. But it was actually Will. <laughs> <laughs> what? I misheard his name as Ben. Um, but his name was actually Will. How how did he mistake Ben for Will? I don't know, man. I, I guess socks were on the mind. Mm -hmm. was just the spit, the spit ain't working. The spit's bringing up the heat back milk, into my man. lips. You need that creamy goodness going down you your gullet. You need some milk, dude. You have to. <laughs> bro, if you've had only that much milk... Oh, we going in fucking war, bro. The, the, milk's, going. the milk's combining with the KFC now and it ain't feeling good. <laughs> that's, that's just sitting there. You know what? I've hit a good place right now. Really? I'm quite comfortable. I'm yeah, I'm nearly there. My mouth's it's yeah, it's just that discomfort inside. Inside deep. I've got the nice no, like, uh, uh. Oh fuck. <laughs> it's going it's like stuck and I can feel it in my stomach and it's like mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm struggling with. Tomorrow is going to be really bad. <laughs> With KFC as what the fuck were we thinking? Oh. Fuck. <laughs> 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 right, I'm literally just I'm I'm like 60% might vomit right now. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> it's all bad. Let's try and answer a few questions quick, like, <laughs> Okay. Just... You saying it gets worse? <laughs> no, I'm good now. Yeah, my mouth's okay. Considering how much of that shit is inside me right now. It's in yeah. my stomach, I can feel it, I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it like moving through me, like well, gradually. Well, I, I just feel that I drank two pints of milk in the space of like five minutes. <laughs> and that concept's also making me want to vomit yeah, more. Yeah. This is why I didn't drink the milk. Yeah, let's go. All my anti, uh, anti, all my anti milk propaganda <laughs> is really coming back to bite me. Uh, well, if you need more, have some of James's. He's not gonna. No, fight. I can't have more milk. All right. Why? You, why do you drink it with such speed? Such. Because it was reprieve. <laughs> See, I didn't. I held. I held out. I. I fought the fight. I. I. I visited the ninth wing of hell, and I'm still standing. But <coughs> I. Just, I. <laughs> Your voice has gone up like it's three octaves. <laughs> I saw. I looked the devil in the eyes, and he just looked back. Just. Just. <laughs> just think about the future. Flash. Flash forward ten years, where we're doing this every episode, and it's just normal. Yeah. See, so, you know, oh, if you want to get our tolerance no. up. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're witnessing now is the only way to up your 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 Scoville tolerance. <coughs> Do you agree with the name? Regret. Yeah, okay. that's all I feel. This is the regret episode. You've had normal. You've had... It's milky Chaos. regret. K K Wait. Yeah, it's, that's the thing, though. It makes you regret something else. Because I, I, like, very rarely consume dairy as well. Oh. So my body's not, like, primed for... Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I'm in this, like, primed stance right now where it's like... I have to hold myself in this way to feel comfortable. Mm. It's the only way. Is this what periods feel like? Well... 
Apparently there's like a machine you can get that you like shock yourself with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, no, the, the, the mimics. Um, that, so it was a t- TikTok trend for a while where guys would um, use the period cramps like emulator. Yeah. Every fucking man caved within one second. They were screaming like, stop it! Ah! <laughs> well, that's what we need to try out on Joe then. Yeah, do it. There's a whole episode. No, 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 no. The period episode. <laughs> the period episode. <laughs> this was episode, we're all on our periods. <laughs> <laughs> do do so here's the question I wanna, I wanna portray to you guys do do you actually regret doing it what just <coughs> life in general or b- oh, having this much regret um uh it really depends on how funny this is yeah wait yeah, are I'm, you saying I'm this might stunned. not be worth it yeah <laughs> Fuck! Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's let's do some quick fire questions. Okay. Come on, let's go. Yeah, so, yeah we yeah. promised last episode because we spent zero time answering questions like we normally do that we'd make up for it by eating the spiciest chili we could find and then uh, kind of that wasn't even a promise we convulsing. made. Convulsing. This episode came up because. Like two days ago, I said to Alex, "You know, it'd be a really good gimmick episode is if we have some like a spoonful of regret." And regret is it's a local chili made by the Wiltshire Chili Company. They're based in a town over from us, and they make these really amazing chili sauces. So for like a, a gift for Alex, one day I was like, "I'm gonna get this really hot chili sauce." They do this the regret, and it's 12 million Scovilles, and um. <laughs> We've tried it before. We've tried like toothpicks worth where we dip it in, you know, try it. And you get like a nice mouth numbing hot heat for yeah. like a good 20 minutes and it's pleasant. I generally love doing it. Yeah. So then I just said, like, you know, let's go all in. And here we are. Okay, I think I think maybe I've crossed the, the Rubicon. Is that what you say? The Rubicon, but you've crossed the Rubicon, yes. There's, no, 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 no. The Rubicon's the point of no return. Oh, that means a bad well, thing. that too. I've crossed the we, Rubicon. We all, we all crossed the Rubicon then. The second that spoon was upside down. See, I didn't do the upside down. I went. I I sucked it and swallowed it. <laughs> so this this might be why because you might have consumed it in different ways because you wanted to do the lick, which means it's all getting in your 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 mouth. No, it's but getting... I, felt, I felt that glug go down. I didn't, I didn't, it didn't sit in my mouth at all. I just glugged it straight down and it, it was all in the back of my throat. This is a new one, folks. D- 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 it, it does give you shits, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, we're going to be enjoying it. it, we, it we can do the shit challenge on top of this. Yeah. We can stack it on top. Okay, I think I'm in a state now where I can actually, like, record. <laughs> Without dying. So how, how, lo- how quickly do you think the um, diarrhea will hit? Because mm. you two, <clears throat> as rule of thumb, if we ever go to KFC, I am um, usually you two, you get shit quite bad. From the shit stories we've we've talked about before, you seem to have a, a, a very vivid post KFC experience. It's it's like a post um, Taco Bell experience for the Americans. So do you think this yeah, could I thought be? It was just like part of the deal with KFC. It was almost like the the cherry on top, where it's like. <laughs> They put it on the receipt, like enjoy the, <laughs> enjoy the last bit. Because I don't really ever get like bad diarrhea shits from from KFC. Protein's been my my bad shit. Like protein made, made your shit wetter. No, it makes it just lots of it. Yeah, know? yeah. I just you, it's so the the only thing that could be worse now is being pumped up for the shit protein shit. Because when that, that chilli heat hits what? it, that's becoming liquid. That is all that shit. All that mass of shit is becoming liquid shit. <clears throat> okay, let's... let's. So, because this is the episode where we head over to Reddit, um, we're going to answer a few questions. Yeah, maybe like three, four. Yeah, maybe one. We've maybe maybe, maybe <laughs> one. Yeah. Of them. I'm, I'm 100% happy to do the full cast. Right. Are we ready? Are we in a state? Yeah, we can good. answer. Okay, Dog Walker fan twenty seven can get us going. Hey guys, I have a pressing hypothetical for you. Would you still jack off if every time you nutted it produced a giant one foot long sperm cell that you would have to immediately kill, or else it would run away and grow into an exact clone of you? 
Oh, I'd let it do. I'd let it one, one way. foot. Wait, does this one foot thing come out your dick? Yeah. It's like a tapeworm. Yeah, like a thin worm. Yeah. That then can well, go on to evolve. Okay, this this is a question with too many variables. How fast is it? Because well, I don't twenty five twenty five miles an hour sprinting. You can easily just step on it and hold it in place. It's a one meter worm. <laughs> you, no, but it's going to try and run immediately. Yes, yeah, so you instantly slam your foot down on it. No, but also there's moral complications. Yeah, because you're like, killing does yourself. This clone, does this clone of you have all your memories up to that point? As someone else's memories. Then what do you mean you? as someone else's memories? <laughs> <laughs> it has someone else's soul. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Every time you come, um, it's born like from one of some someone's soul. You know. So, you're, so you're someone, someone, so someone else dies. Okay, picture this. And then a clone Un the of underworld, you. Hades underworld. Right. There's all the souls. They're coming up. Every time you come, not. like Scientology or whatever, you know, like it channels the energies or whatever the fuck. Yeah. It's like that. So every time you nut, it like brings back a soul, and then goes oh, I off. Nut non-stop. I just bring back loads of souls. <laughs> yeah. You, you, what yeah. if you nutted like Hitler? Mm. What if Hitler nut was, was your nut? <laughs> Take that out of context. What if I nutted like Hitler? I heard that as if I nutted like Hitler. No. Like what Hitler if you nutted nut. Hitler? What if your nut crawled away and turned into a no, reborn? Was Hitler. <laughs> yeah. But you look like you. <laughs> Well, that's that's a definitely different story, eh? See now, see this gets infinitely more complex. But I'm still going down to the speed thing, because I'm the only me, you know. Well, yeah. well, no, but this is the thing. You just nut into a box. Yeah, that's the thing. And like, use a sock. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh fuck. I guess no. We do. Flashlight. Don't. Full of. I think worm. I'd rather be celibate than have to kill a, kill a like a two foot worm. Yeah. Also, the the sensation of a <laughs> of a worm coming out of you. No, let's at least include the It'd caveat. Be like kidney stones. The, the, no, the worm good. coming out can at least be pleasurable in this oh. in this scenario. <laughs> Wait, so so it, it actually makes it better. <laughs> Only that but you bit. have to kill a living like guy, yeah. a living you, okay. with someone this, else's soul. Is this, is this specific to <laughs> masturbation? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That 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 makes it better. Well, yeah, unless you want to be. <laughs> this hypothetical's fucked. Yeah, don't give us your hypotheticals. I'd still not. Okay. <laughs> you know, so, what's, you know, it's quite a relief. What? There's a bathroom on every floor of this house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if we only if we only need to go <laughs> diarrhea at the same time. Paper machete dream has our next one. Between the three of you, who gives the best hugs? Well, I guess that answers that one. <laughs> um, I'd probably say Alex. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just say me. Yeah, I'll just probably say me. <laughs> well, you win. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ooh. <laughs> it's the milk, man. Magenta Dystopia is our next one then. Hi, Mingers. What's your opinions on the addition of raisins into curries? As a person who's half Indian, I find them disgusting. And in primary school, our curries contain currants slash raisins for some weird reason. If any of you have contented a raisin-infused mess of a curry, what are your thoughts? Raisins shouldn't be in anything, I'm afraid. It seems like Raisins belong in one place. Those stupid little fucking baby cartons. That's yeah. it. That's the one place yeah. they belong. <laughs> no, like a, a, yeah. a, like a fruit and nut bag. No. No, nah, don't even put them in there. Your fucking trail mix. Get the goddamn shit bit out. Give me the good bit of the mix. Mm -hmm. The trail mix, the raisins are the yellow gummy snakes. <laughs> nice. Do you get me? <laughs> I think everyone out there gets you, bro. No, I don't. I like the yellow gummy snakes. No, you fucking don't. I, I had a bag of gummy snakes last Friday, a week today. I gave you a whole selection. Majority yellow. Mm -hmm. And th there was only two fucking You left. didn't suck a single snake. Yeah. Oh, it <coughs> tastes that much like soap. <laughs> yeah. You know what's the bad thing? That if you do vomit, the vomit will be chilly. 
the vomit the vomit will will sting your throat because of the chili in it. No, but the milk will counteract it. Just yours will Ooh. be chilly. Yeah. We'll just yeah, be, we'll, the, we'll the, be just yeah, but that's fucking. That's made me really happy, actually. Yeah. No, but the thing is, you're more likely to vomit because you've drank loads of milk. It's only two pints. Yeah. The the amount of times I've eaten like an entire tub of Ben and Jerry's, and that's one pint, right? No, so it's not one pint. Double that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Double that, but take out all the like sugar and shit. Surely, like, uh, surely my stomach can handle two pints of <coughs> milk. Yeah, weirdly, I'm starting to feel kind of the opposite. What do you mean? Like a kind of new strength, a new kind of power. Oh, I'm getting a new pa pa pain. What do, what do you mean? That's like a totally different wavelength. What? Uh, what do you mean a new power? Are you not feeling this? Uh... What do you mean by new power? Because I I feel like kind of drunk. Yeah. Like, my vision is changed. <laughs> and, like, my brain is thinking differently. Have we just gooned our brains with, like, chili? We've gooned chili. We just gooned chili. Oh, uh, no. I'm in pain. Oh. Do you need a tummy sort? Do you need some raisins? Your raisins might sort you out. <laughs> Don't push down. When was the last time you were like ate ate a raisin in earnest? <laughs> uh, when probably, was the last time you were like, it, it, you know what? I need a I need a raisin right now. <laughs> no, it would have been when I had like a trail mix. Mm. Are you actually gonna vom? No, I'm in pain. I've got like it's like it's like I don't feel like I'm gonna vom. It's just like pain that. Yeah, because it's like twelve million <laughs> scoville chili going through all your tubes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, once the chili was past my my um, you know the dangly thing. I think you, you, I think you just left it all in your mouth, bro. That all, no, it, it went down my stomach, bro. I hope my piss doesn't left sting. I think your piss will be safe. Well, no, because it's just like I get a bit of sl slob back up my throat and it's chilly. <laughs> it's, it's reigniting the palate with fire. Down some milk, then. No, no, look, look. Look. Look how much milk's left. I've had no milk, because this makes me be sick. I can't drink milk. Yeah, that's like a few months worth of milk right there. <coughs> anyway, where were we? Raisins. Raisins. And how good they are. Um, and how they belong. Because I'm a, I'm a um, grape fan. They're one of my favourite fruits. I think they're awesome. They're not a fruit. A raisin isn't a fruit. No, but this is what I'm it's saying. A... No, no, no. Grapes are a fruit, though. Yeah. Yeah. But, and they're the, they're the form that are deserved. Yeah. That are romanticised. That are, yeah, like a Grecian going. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. yeah. No you one's, yeah, no one's romanticizing the carton of raisins. Yeah, on you the don't playground. See fucking Ra raisins. Are Julius really Caesar eating a carton of fucking raisins. <laughs> yeah, that's got stupid. A, who who is that woman on the raisins thing? Anyway, who is that? No, no, raisins She's... are really healthy for you. No, raisins are great. No, dried fruits are actually the least healthy thing on the planet for you. Much more sugary. <laughs> Like small sugary. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think I think I'm like. <clears throat> Is it legal to drive on chili? Do you remember that That's vine a good question? Loved? What do you mean? Hey, welcome to Chili's. But that's, isn't that because they've got a restaurant in America called Chili's? We do as We've well, got bro. a restaurant in Britain called Tri Trilly. What? Chili's. We have one in fucking... Where? But Wooten Bass... Wooten Bass... Yeah, well, there's one in Wooten Bass. Oh, that doesn't count. That's, 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 that's not Chili's. a Chili's. Well, it's Chili's. That's Chili's. not the same. It is so, Chili's. like, an American tourist is here and they're like, man, I really fancy a Chili's. You Send them to them Chili's. That. They'll have an actual better experience. Yeah. Straight up. Well, wow, British chilies is so much better. <coughs> yeah, it actually tastes like real food. Alex, ask another fucking question, bruv. Appropriate Shine 62 says, Will you be doing more James reviews? I love the episodes where James is at the main stage. Um, we've had a lot of, uh, what's it called? Like, creative, um... Differences. Creative differences. Okay, so what's happened recently is the Jar Media time timetable has been a bit fucked, and we haven't had the time Please. for for four, for all three of us to get together and record them. Um, Tokyo Drift 
is on the horizon. That's one we're definitely going to do. Um, but we have got one in the pipeline at the moment, just waiting for one person to watch it. It's on the horizon. It's on the Forza horizon. So uh, they are coming up. Me and Alex have organised a way to do them. Um, so they're coming up. I've wanted to do them for a while. So uh, you know, we've got one one in 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 the works, in the oven, as they say, in the chili buns in the oven, sort of thing. Yeah, buns in the oven. I I um I think I, I'm a different person. Compared to what? Before the chili. Really? What's changed? My brain is different now. You've you've actually you're in you're in a trance. A chili induced in, trance. I'm in a, a goon hole, I think. I think I'm in the goon hole. <laughs> you probably are. Like chili no, because let's think about this logically here. Like the go, the goon hole, the goon, it's like a it's a it's a state of like constantly do it's like gooning, you know, you're gooning. It's a state of taking something too far, I'd say. Yeah. You're gooning and you get stuck in a goon hole and you can't... Your brain doesn't function as it should. Mm. It's like raiding on Destiny for 10 hours straight. Mm. It's like, you know, playing Fortnite for 10 hours straight. You know, doing anything to excess. Like, you mind fuck yourself in the goon hole. And it's the same with chilies. It's the same with heat. Once you go to a level, you, you the endorphins that you get from it, they just flow your bro- they overthrow the, the the dictatorship that is your mind and you get stuck in the chili goon hole do you think uh shoe nice would down that whole thing yeah yeah he was in a goon hole he, yeah no he was in, actually in a goon hole he was maybe the first celebrity gooner <laughs> But the first, as if they were like countless celeb gooners. They're all there. fucking gooners. <laughs> yeah. Every celebrity Jar- is a gooner. Jared Leto is an a- he is a gooner. Yeah. 100%. He's got a whole island dedicated to gooning. Yeah, he's got a whole religion get to get... My fellow gooners. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, uh. uh, I can't wait for us to see Morbius, though. No, yeah. sh- no, 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 no. James no. reviews Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's coming. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No. Uh, Delu Jury says hypothetical that will make James seethe in anger. All dogs in the world all of a sudden get turned into identical copies of Argy, both physically and mentally. How does the human race adapt? Bing, you fight, you you beat an army of corgi, but Argies by Bing. No, but that's not the question. Well, the search engine. No. Yeah. How to defeat corgis. <laughs> <laughs> There are too many results of cute images. Of <laughs> so if every dog was suddenly a corgi. Every uh, every dog in the world turns into a corgi. They all argue with a shaved leg. All, yeah, they all brain argue. Well, so how would we overcome it? No, like just how would humanity react? Kill them all. No, I think it would be. I think it would. T- it would turn the world into two lanes. Pro. And no. Pro Corgi and no Corgi. Yeah, because the this this is this is it. This is how this is how Argy works. Like you know? Marmite. Like Marmite, like Anakin Skywalker, like um other ones. So w- which Me and James would be on the no. Yeah, hundred percent. If you had you'd, to... I don't know where you'd be. Well I'd no, because that be no, that Jedi. means you'd have two <laughs> Argies in your house. Which I'm fine with. You would, would not that be, be fine better with. for you? No. Than no. Yeah. Ew. If it every would... dog was Argie, then every dog could just be loose. What? No, Argie can't be no. loose. Argie literally can't go off the league because he's such a Argy's... terror. No, because he's so kind and approaches um, every dog, even if they're dangerous. He, yeah, he's, he's stupid, is what you're saying. He doesn't do that, though. He screams. <laughs> No, but he'll approach and then scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but the that. thing with Argy is that he he's a very jealous being. Very jealous being. Yeah. And can you imagine? True. He'd be competing with other versions of himself. And all the like, uh, you know, um, loads of countries have like wild stray dogs and stuff. All of those would be corgis. 
all the all of those stray dogs with rabies would suddenly be um like mm. all the corgis with rabies. Yeah. Does it change wolves? Yeah. No, because they're different species. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Man. <laughs> w- wolves and dogs are like ones evolved. One would it change one. foxes? Foxes. I vote yes. Foxes aren't dogs. I would vote every mammal. <laughs> no. No. That ruins it. <laughs> like, yeah, then we'd uh, have to annihilate them all. <laughs> a whale, Gorgie. <laughs> now that's cringy. No, 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 yeah, no, no. Change, get up, change the question here. It makes every animal have the brain of Argie. So they're still a whale, ah. but they've got Argie's brain. Here's a question. Imagine a parrot with fucking Argie's brain. How, imagine how terrifying that would be. Because they speak already, so they'll just... Yeah, yeah. I hate you. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> That's just what it would sound like. No, um, no, the, the, an- the no, the answer is no, no. Yeah, I forgot the question. What do you mean you well, forgot the question? Yeah, it doesn't question? matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It. yeah, we have this one from a uh, big big Nukerson, and um. It's a weird question because I was just kind of confused by like what they were asking. Uh, Dear Gooners, in recent years the success of the cinematic universe is unfathomable. The idea of creating a web of offshoot movies that tie into one another was often seen as a folly endeavor, but the 2010s would prove otherwise, with studios like Disney and Time Warner creating their own commercially viable films. Universes like the MCU, the Spider-Verse, and even the Legoverse have become so popular amongst the masses that it's quite impossible to not imagine what will come next. With Timothy Chalamet's recent casting as Willy Wonka in 2023's Wonka, a new possible avenue has, woke, has opened up. The Wonkaverse. The idea, <laughs> the idea to me seems intriguing, especially considering... <laughs> I don't know if they're like, fuck with me, or... <laughs> considering that... <laughs> They, they betrayed Wonka in previous installments, gave such a unique performance to the character that I'm getting serious Spider Verse vibes, <laughs> but stronger. <laughs> this could finally be. <laughs> this could finally be the opportunity to mix Kino with mainstream appeal. Thoughts. <laughs> what a fucking weird question. <laughs> <laughs> Did you write this? No, no, I would. If I wrote that, I wouldn't have been able to read it like so cleanly. I, 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 hundred percent. I've hit the stage with chili, where it's just like, yeah, I'm just drunk. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? It's really fucking bizarre because I'm like listening to you, like this is. I, it Alex might has be made like this um, up. It might be like an endorphin. You know, it hundred percent is an endorphin thing. Because your body, I guess, is pumping you full of so much endorphins. From such a ridiculous dose of chili, that's basically just like he's actually gooning. He's actually <laughs> gooning. No, this is why people chase it. No, but we for just... this right now, yeah. To be honest, I'm fine. No, I would one, one, yeah, I'm fine. When I've had firecrackers from Wagamama, like I'm in a lot of pain. But I'm, it's, it's like um, I I actually watched this movie for the first time, um, Hellraiser. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's, it's about pain. Yeah, it's about like the demons that fucking love it. Yeah, they are masochists. They're masochists. they're sadists. No, sadism is inflicting. Yeah, they inflict it on others. But they also but they also it. like fucked, you know, and they love it. Yeah, it's like it's just, it's just Salanesh, I guess. And it, I think Hellraiser is about chili. You're chasing the, 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 the... Yeah, you're chasing pain to get pleasure. Yeah. Because I, I like this. Right now is really nice. Yeah. And... My, the milk bit isn't, but... See, I'm, I'm, I'm no, good. But my approach to the milk, I think, was the correct one. Yeah, you... you with, no, with, with the three extremes. Yeah. All in, half, none. Mm-hmm. And I'm I feel bloody brilliant. My, my my lips are stinging. My lips are like really. Your lips are still my, stinging. My lips That's because are of the way you ate it. 
You yeah, didn't true. turn the spoon upside down and use your tongue. Mm. So I knew that shit was touching my tongue no matter what. So I might as well yeah, reduce Yeah, because I wanted the... to avoid the lips. That was my main thing. Just yeah. keep it off the yeah. lips. Yeah, but I, I swallowed it like 15 minutes ago. Why is it coming back now? Hellways is like one of those a cult movies. No, not cult. It's like a quite iconic. Yeah, it's, it's, it is cult, I'd say. It's yeah. like kind of bad. Oh, yeah. But very good. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the good outweighs the bad. So that's my opinion on um, Wonka. Yeah, what do you think of the Wonka Cinematic Universe, James? I couldn't give a. F- I, the only the only way I would care is if we get to see a version where ja- we get to see James's Wonka. Yeah. Wait, what? No, James James is Charlie. No, I prefer James as Wonka. No, James as Charlie with Timothy Chalamet as or James as um, an Oompa Loompa or the. Well, no, because <laughs> I'm older than <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> So I'd be Wonka, he'd be Charlie. Yeah. No, it's like f- flipping the, the script, you know? No, the Flash comes in, he opens some kind of portal, and yeah, he brings yeah. in the different Wonkers. No, do you, know, do you want to know what I s- want to see from a cinematic universe? Hmm. Something never been done before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, what? Like, I want the Uncharted like... cin- cinematic universe. <laughs> no, I, w- I want <laughs> just, like, a new IP, you know? Something never been seen. Something never even imagined yet. <clears throat> and I want that made into something. At the Apex Legends Cinematic Universe. No, that's an IP. I want something fresh like Max Payne. But like Max, Max Payne ba- Cinematic Universe. No, but back when Max Payne was first out, you know, so Yeah, bring back new. Mark Wahlberg, get him to Yeah, no, he he'll be <laughs> back when the flash comes in and goes. <laughs> You're dreaming, Which Max Bruce. Payne are we going to snag this time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, because this is what the Spider-Man movies, like, open the floodgates for. Like, movies where the whole thing is, like, characters opening portals for, like, different versions of the same characters yeah, yeah, that like, yeah. come together. Because we're getting the Batman one next. Wait, what? Yeah, because that's, that's what, what the that... Flash movie is. Yeah. It's him just going around getting Batman. You mean Flash? Yeah. Are they going to get George Clooney? Yeah. He's been he might be kicked out of the the DC though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had to call like an emergency meeting because the guy who plays the Flash is like deranged or something. Yeah, he's like he is actually just the Joker. Why isn't he fucking playing the Joker? <laughs> Cuz then they only like cast Ezra, Ezra Miller as like a reaction to Tom Holland like we need like a young trendy actor to play the like upcoming superhero thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like stuck with this fucking guy <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be their savior. <laughs> and he's in one of their like, biggest but, franchises as well. He's in the like, Harry Potter. He's in. <laughs> but, yeah, you can tell that he's like a creepy guy, though. <laughs> yeah, he was too good at playing the like killing um, Kevin. <laughs> we oh, talk about fuck Kevin. me. Yeah, that was him, wasn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. Hollery has a quick one for me. Hey, has Alex ever heard of Apple TV's prehistoric planet? Any intentions on watching it? As it's had a lot of hype mm, in the paleo community. Um, I'm not a part of the paleo community, I want to say. First Are you off. not? No. I thought you were. No. At least you bought your subscription to paleoarchology.net. Oh, really? Because that was the one thing that was holding me back and stopping me from... Oh, so bro, so now I guess you now can I can join the, the paleo community. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll probably watch it. <laughs> That's cool. I watched, I watched the trailer and there were like big CG Jurassic Parks going. <laughs> Are you serious? We need Walking with Dinosaurs back. That's what this is. And we need a hologram of Steve Irwin. Already got it. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's headlining you Coachella in Fortnite. Watching Apple TV Plus very much. <laughs> <laughs> Stick him up as our next one. In episode 207, Eagle Brothers Brawl, Alex talks about his baby gorilla dream. In the episode, Jamie's theory on the dream's meaning is that the baby gorilla represents Argy, bringing eventual danger and harm to Paisley. So, was the dream a warning after all? Wait, what? No way. No fucking way. No. No. <laughs> uh, I can fucking start like a fortune teller thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's uh, add a new tier on the Patreon. Jim will tell you the fortune. <laughs> yeah. You have to tell me, like, a really specific dream, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had this dream where this fucking, like, thing was chasing me. What does it mean, Jim? <laughs> what does it mean? Mel Gibson was chasing me in a dream. <laughs> it means you must find him. <laughs> find him and tell him the truth. Find him and tell him all about your dream. <laughs> <laughs> like the real Mo Gibson. Can you imagine a scarier dream? <laughs> Chased by rabid Mo Gibson. Yeah, beard, the puppet beard or the real Mel guy. The real guy. The real guy. So bearded yeah. Mel Gibson. I'd pop. Wait, are you saying no. current <laughs> bearded Mel Gibson? There's no, nothing. Imagine, no, I, I can imagine something scarier. You wake up in the body of the guy playing Christ, being directed by Mel Gibson. Mm. And you have to like, you're in that position as you, but you're in, you're embodying him. So you're like, fuck, I gotta, I gotta be Jesus acting on set right now, fuck. being directed by Mel Gibson screaming at me. He's against the clock. He's stressed. That would be horrible. And you gotta act your heart out. Yeah, and I don't know how to do that. That's scarier dreams. No, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't fucking think so. Um, <laughs> Skinny and Humble has one for you, James. We win. James, please elaborate on why you hate Austin Powers. Are you jealous of his mojo? Is it because he shags? <laughs> I've never seen Austin Powers, I'm gonna admit it. I, right. haven't I know all the jokes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> nice impression, bro. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, when he goes, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I um I don't really have anything against Austin Powers. I haven't really seen it. Says <laughs> it all. <laughs> all right, leg twenty-seven has a question. Has the Beast heard about the Max Payne remakes coming no, out? I no. haven't. Okay. Um, let's do this one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually want to mention that? Or? Well, I don't know because I haven't heard nah, shit. Right, I, it no could worries. be a fucking lie. What I say is because you like the game so much, don't, don't actually ever consume anything about it until it comes out. Then you can go in and be like, this is this is fucking incredible. Have an in ten out of ten time and then forget about it. No, I think you should get wrapped up in the hype. Well, sorry, but I don't believe the hype train is ever worth the ticket cost. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was with Elden Wing. Elden Wing. <laughs> yeah, um, stay tuned for is Elden Ring as um, overrated as they say. <laughs> Quick answer: Sekiro's better. Not no. What, what not would be funny? Just true. No, if if the, if we wanted to like annoy people as much as possible, what would be the the like opening to the is Elden Ring as overrated and bad as they say episode? Like what would be the the, well, the well, way yeah. to get Souls fans in annoyed? Yeah, you say yes. Just yeah, it's over. Um, no, you just reference like Bloodborne, saying that Bloodborne was like kind of bad. Mm. If you imply yeah. that Bloodborne isn't very good, is that what gets Souls fans going? People have a <laughs> boner for Bloodborne, and you know what? Truth be told, Bloodborne isn't even as good as fucking Dark Souls Two. That game fucking sucks. I saw someone, um, 30 FPS someone bitch. like in a comment was like upset with me because they were like, it really bothers me how Alex just agrees with Jim on Dark Souls 2. Yeah, you, you haven't it? played it. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that? Um, I thought I made that clear whenever we've talked about Dark Souls 2 that like, A, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> and B, like it's Dark Souls 2. Yeah, everyone knows it's trash. <laughs> Even James knows it fucking sucks. It's It'd probably be the one I'd like, though. <laughs> if I no, no, it, 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 no, you would actually not like it. The one you'd like would be fucking like the PS1 one where you like go through a cave and there's like, it's just yeah, surely J James would love the original Demon Souls PS3 only, though. Yeah, no, I think I'd love Bloodborne Cart. That does look kind of lit. Horsborough comes on for us. Howdy, Jar fellas. Wanted to ask you guys this for a while, and I'm not sure if you've answered it before, but what are your genuine thoughts on pro wrestling? 
As someone who became interested in it at a later age than the typical fan, I was wondering about exposure you've had to it in the past, maybe through people at school or through other means. With some of the biggest stars in Hollywood being former wrestlers, most notably The Rock, John Cena, and Dave Bautista, have you ever watched any pro wrestling content in the past to see what the fuss is about? Keep up the great work and game on, Lewis. Oh yeah, I've seen pro. I've seen WWE. Well, live. Not live. I've watched all the clips on YouTube. Just like you get bored when you're like what sixteen. You just get bored. You're just like oh. Watch. There's there there are like funny moments. Yeah. That are entertaining. Yeah. Our, our father has always been into pro wrestling. Yeah, he was always liked it to the chagrin of my mum. It yeah. was beefed over that. Yeah. Um, but I always enjoyed the Louis Theroux where he goes to America mm. and he he hangs out with the wrestlers. Yeah. And they make him do the the workout. their routine, the workout routine, and he, like, and he vomits. vomits and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I. I just don't really care about watching many sports anyway. I mean, it's not a sport. It's entertainment. It's 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 it's, it's like hyper exaggerated masculinity theater. It, it's got all these like stupid plot it's lines. It's just drama. And, it's drama for yeah, it's, kids. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's not theater. It's a soap opera. Hmm. That's all it's all it is. It's it's totally ridiculous and. It's like that. It's it's not. It's it's not that they're not capable of like writing stories. It's that it, they don't try. It's like the, it's what it is it. is the appeal. Like yeah, that exact like style is why people are watching it. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like it has to be that way, and that's what people want, like about it. Yeah, it's just like over the top. It's 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 Western anime. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, in America, they're all into, like, the backyard wrestling and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, late 90s or just 90s, it was, like, really big, wasn't it? Um, WWEF, was it back then? Mm. Like, I, I don't know. It I was WWF like, and WWE. it changed to WWE. Yeah, that's right. Something like that. It was always, like, in the background, but I just never really cared that much. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Ah. R slash Jar Media has a messed up one. Any updates on Argy being a menace to society? Um. He's actually been not too bad, aside from the odd thing. Um, I've noticed he's kind of got a new scheme <clears throat> for causing problems for me. He's realized that I guess I've achieved maximum damage that I can output by my own means. So what I'm going to do is going to use my standing as being above Paisley in every way and knowing that she copies everything he does. So he's he's like he's like a Sith Lord like teaching the the apprentice, you know, just sl slowly through the dark side manipulating her, making her do annoying things and, and creating this Golden Retriever Corgi thing. She's t he's turning a Golden Retriever into a Corgi and it's messed up to see. It's re I, very distressing. I disagree, because every time I see Paisley, she's still just Paisley. No, nah, bro, you don't see what I see. Who explain what you see? Right, here are some of the things Argy has taught Paisley to do. <clears throat> the cringy pull-on lead with all four leg thing like a Corgi does. <laughs> Cause corgis do when they pull, it's like a specific thing because of their low center of gravity. They engage their legs in this like really specific way. <laughs> and Paisley's learned and does the exact same thing. And it I need to see this. It's really cringy, and I, I've, I, it's so annoying. Um, what else has has he done to her? <laughs> she nudges like a corgi, which is weird. Um. She rolls and shit like a corgi, which is annoying. I think that, every dog that rolls was, and shit. No, that was learned. She used to just eat it. Mm -hmm. It's upgraded because of him. Well, she just copies it. him. Anything he does, she copies. Yeah, but he literally eats his own shit. <laughs> she hasn't gone that far yet, but I see her. I see her watching, <laughs> watching and waiting. <laughs> She's such a copier. 
Uh. Uh. <laughs> Brad T two 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 has one for us. Has the rise of post post credit scenes, post credit scenes slowly been damaging the movie viewing experience? It really yes. seems like certain people will now only go into movies to see what the tease at the end is, rather than yes. the actual content of the film itself. <laughs> the amount <laughs> of movies you go to, that <laughs> did you obviously. See my, did you see my fucking tweet? <laughs> <laughs> is when I went to go see Morbius. <laughs> they had they'd printed out this thing of all the movies. Oh that were yeah, showing, yeah, 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 yeah. Saying which one of them you need yeah, to stick it must around. Be fucking annoying for the staff. <laughs> yeah. They're like just trying to clean but it up. To me, the disturbing part of that was like, man, like this is a big reason people come to the movies now. Yeah, because it's episodic. Yeah. All <laughs> they've all they've done with this. <laughs> Mind-blowing <laughs> Marvel Cinematic Universe. They, they just made a TV show. Yeah. Let's take the structure of TV, but make each episode a movie. Yeah, which is what TV is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now, so now we're in a position where every, everything is either just hyping up the future. Yeah. Thanos is coming. Yeah. Fuck, fuck. D DC thing is coming. King Kong's thing is coming. It's, yeah. Trust us, it's coming. You got so you got those movies to look forward to, and then on yeah. the other hand, you've got all the shit that's just obsessed with the past. It's just nostalgia. What? We got more Jurassic Park. We got more Star Wars. What was the after credits of Endgame? Wasn't that the first one that didn't have one? No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mhm. Mm yeah. You see that that is a way to do it though, because that is like. Yeah, saying it's, it's finished, done. Now everything. But that's after what I don't it. get though. It's like, yeah, Mar they, Marvel. They found their angle. They did their new thing, and it was like, okay, you, you then deserve the money for doing it and discovering the new thing. Well, well done. But then what does everyone else do? Oh, it's our turn to do that thing now. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? We've already seen that. No, we. It's our. We're gonna do our one. We're gonna do it, but we're we're not gonna plan. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do the same thing except fuck up everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're we're just gonna not think about the future and just go. <laughs> yeah, green light. <laughs> green light the mummy. <laughs> Don't care what it is. I just want to see results. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ah. Uh. Yeah, fuck movies. I, I fucking hate movies. The only good genre of entertainment... Is is Family Guy clip edits on YouTube. No, on Instagram. Yeah, even YouTube's lost now. Yeah, YouTube's lost. No, because on Instagram it's like a gold, like striking gold. You're just <laughs> scrolling through shit for so long. And you see Family Guy and it's like actually the funniest shit you've seen in ages. <laughs> and it's like, what the... How, how has this happened? You get me. I, ne I never get Family Guy. Shh. We have an important, <laughs> an important one here from the Jimbus, who's um, a mod on the subreddit. So this is important. Listen up. Bear bear, jar boys. <laughs> bear bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about using it as a greeting. <laughs> It's the r slash jar media mod again. As we're, <laughs> as we're picking up more and more random redditors who've been recommended this subreddit out of nowhere, how should we make this as confusing of an experience as possible for them? <laughs> I think we're already doing a pretty good job of that. The sub's been free guy theme for a while, and the rules are just the lyrics to tig old biddies. So I think it's time to change things up a little. Here are some aspects of the subreddit that can be edited. If you make any suggestions, I'll implement them later. So we've got name, description, banner, rules, sidebar images, can include multiple, the suggestion thread, suggested subreddits, the name of the subreddit's users on, on the subscribe account, and the flair of any user. Anything come to mind? Uh... Ah, oh, Holo Live. Holo Live? What's that? It's, it's the, the new Twitch thing. It's not even new. It's like, like a virtual, 3D. Um, it's animated Twitch streamers. It's anime characters. Twitch streamers. Yeah, yeah, VTubers. 
Holo Live. Holo, Holo Lives. Let's make that the, the actual subreddit name. <laughs> so then you get all the people from <laughs> no, Holo Live. It might, it might escape us from the algorithm. Put, um... Put Holo Live in the suggested subreddit, surely. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we get all those people, and then and they anime them. girls on the banners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anime girls on the banners. Yeah, we got a shit. What should the free guy shit be replaced with? Anime girls. No, anime girls on the banners. We need something like the subreddit for no something cool, like wrestling. Yeah, the number one wrestling subreddit. Yeah. Have like a like a, a a banner of wrestlers. Yeah, yeah, different wrestlers. You know, stood in a line like the Avengers. from all around the world. Yeah, no, the yeah. the wrestlers, the west, the west, the wrestler cinematic universe banner. Yes. Yeah, the, the wrestlers. Like Marvel. Yeah, all the wrestlers all holding a different wrestlers. W W C U. The W the official W W F cinematic universe Reddit. What should the rules be? Um, one, just live. Only post C bum. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I quite like the just live. Yeah, just live. Two bear bear. Three only rules one and two. <laughs> That's rule three. Rule three. No, creatine, rule three. Creatine. Creatine. No. Rule three. Don't follow rule three. <laughs> yeah. And that's the, and then rule four is <laughs> rule three is the main rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we need creatine in there somewhere. Yeah. Rule. Rule five. What rule are we on? Four. No, because you've got the side pictures. <laughs> rule five. <laughs> the side pictures on the side. Because rule four goes. is rule three is the main rule. So rule five. No, what about the pictures on the side? But we didn't finish the rules. We don't need to no, finish the, the rules. No, the pictures on the side with the anime girls. No, the, the top. The top picture is the WWE okay. side picture is anime girls. Is that fair? <laughs> yeah, that is fair. And your VTuber thing is like in the tags or whatever. Yeah, Holo Live is the Holo suggested. Live. Uh, yeah, yeah. We've got all bases covered. Then we got the we got yeah. the fanboys got, we, and the hyper yeah. gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's the new army, bro. It's the new drum army. I'm quite happy with those four rules, to be honest. Yeah, I'm happy with all of that. Yeah. Review Tech Brooklyn 99 says, Could Jar explain what five bean, five rice is? Well, five, what? Be five bean, five rice. Yeah, five bean, five rice. What the fuck is to explain? Yeah. <laughs> you got pilau, egg fried, Mexican, long grain, and brown. And basmati. Basmati? Basmati. <laughs> My balls are richy. As this to say, considering that Modern Warfare 2019 decided to attribute an American action, the highway of death, to the Russians, what massively tone-deaf and tasteless fiction do you think we'll find in Modern Warfare 2 2022? <laughs> is that a thing? What, the What's highway the, of death? What is the highway of death? I'm pretty sure it's a highway that was in Iraq, possibly. It was in one of the Gulf Wars, and it was just a big highway, and loads of fucking tanks got fucked. It's like an iconic imagery of like a, a highway that was just fucked. I was watching was like lot. edgy Call of Duty campaign clips the other day. Because I was like, I, I just randomly remembered No Russian and was like, what is this mission like now? <laughs> it's really fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. It's in the remaster. What do you mean? They remastered the game. Oh, yeah. What were like the graphics and everything? They remastered yeah, yeah. like the, the that whole thing. Is uh, it still like skippable and stuff? Yeah, but <laughs> now you can murder civilians in an airport with a machine gun in even higher definition. Yeah, really? Yeah. Do they add some like particle effects and? Yeah, improve reload animations. The the, the you, you, wait, pause and they even added second. they even added a reference to Modern Warfare Three. Really? Oh yeah, that's like the place you sniper in Modern yeah, Warfare. Yeah, Highway of Death. That's yeah. Huh. And then I watched the Modern Warfare Three uh, child getting bombed scene. Yeah. Um. Nowhere near as shocking. That yeah, that was like 
I reckon you should have been the one to bomb that child. <laughs> If you really wanted to shock, we should have gone slow mo and gone around yeah. the child like yeah. Exploding. Well, you can like see her, the skull in her head like mm. vibrate and yeah, then yeah. fucking explode. <laughs> well, I I don't think given the con the the, the tone of Modern Warfare One, Modern Warfare One One, the other one, not the, the first fuck one. Are you talking about <laughs> the twenty nineteen Modern Warfare. Yeah, that it had the edgy. We gotta do what we can to make sure everyone stays safe. Yeah, and that, yeah, yeah. that cringe shit. So th- there's gonna be a terror, a terror attack at some point because Macworld hasn't even been introdu- introduced yet. <coughs> this, this is we're still the Modern, War, Modern Warfare One One campaign is like it's not even as a key yet. Yeah. And so it's the same kind of beats of the story, but no, it's told not the same. It's, space. Space. it's the same. It's the same universe. If it's a different story, then why do you expect it to go to the same place? No, because they introduce the same characters that were in the first one. But, but like they do bef- something different. No, it's before they could have done, or, yeah. No, it's a completely reboot. There's no, there's no... Yeah, there's and no... they intertwined it with the Black Ops universe. Jesus. Yeah. Cinematic so, universe. So, that Macro will, will make a, a show... A, 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 that they have to do something like yeah, the... Yeah, but the, the stupid thing they again. did was they tried to, like, implement story into Warzone. They did. So it's really fucking confusing, like, what... I thought they have, like, zombies in Warzone. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, it it doesn't make sense to try and combine those two things, because, like, you can't have fucking cat girls dancing around <laughs> and try to tell this, like, gritty story about taking the gloves off and committing war crimes. Fuck. <laughs> Right, we're nearly at the end here, guys. Chuffer McDonald <laughs> says, previous episode, you mentioned joining the MCU. Well, what would your unique character names and powers be? And don't just say, yeah, I'd be like Captain America, but with a golden pussy or something. Um, Alex would be Mr. Regret. <laughs> What's the power? The power to phase anything that has happened in your life out of existence through the sheer power of regret. Damn. It's just kind of a good power then, isn't it? Yeah. But every time you mess with the timeline, regret. No, but like, if comes you meet someone eyes. who shits, let's say you meet someone terrible, you can phase that person out of regret resist existence by regretting meeting them. So you can fuck up people, but only by regretting them, and you can't control your regret. Because regret is a very real thing that takes you can't just be like, oh, I regret meeting you, you know? That's not regret. Mm. It's tied to the emotion. Yes. You've actually got to have the emotional aspect. So if anyone does anything shitty to you, you might have a bit of regret. Like, oh, why this the is fuck a great did fucking concept, bro. And then you fucked up. Because that means you could accidentally wipe someone out of existence you didn't mean to. Just because you didn't control oh, your so emotions. You... Wow. So you you can't battle. control your emotions. This is heavy. That's that's your um that's your power. Okay. James, your power is um your you're kind of like um Black Widow. Mm, nice, I like that where this is going. That's it, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep on for Jamie. Black Widow. Oh, I've got one for you. Black Widow's got a sister, right? Uh huh. Sort of like her powers. Ah, oh, nice. Me and Jamie are like the the the, the black wid- widows. Yeah. Nice. You saw that one, didn't you? No, but she's in Hawkeye. Is she? Yeah. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have said that if I knew that. Yeah. Have you not been oh. keeping up with the cinematic <laughs> universe? Like, okay. nah. Yeah. Yeah. I'm there. <laughs> I'm I'm up. I'm keeping up. <laughs> Anyone watch Moon Knight yet? Woo! <laughs> yeah. I love Moon Knight. Moon Knight's my shit, bro. I like Oscar Isaac. Yeah, I like Oscar Isaac. I think he's a very pretty man. <laughs> he is really pretty. <laughs> moon Knight's like Batman, except if a moon bit him and turned him into a fucking yes, moon. Yes, Moon Knight sort of like Batman if he had. Borderline personality <laughs> disorder. <laughs> right. Here we go. 
Um, uh, JH says, Howdy, Mingers. This is the penultimate one. I'm a primary teacher, and I want you to know that Jars influenced my career greatly. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I always have random pictures of Moto Moto, <laughs> Alex the Lion, and Dick the Head scattered throughout every PowerPoint I make. <laughs> I've also hung up <laughs> posters of Free Guy <laughs> no. and Red Notice in the classroom, with my Magnum Otis being a five-foot cardboard cutout of Fortnite Jonesy displayed by my desk. You'd think that my inspector would find these things odd, but she thinks my integration of fun characters really engages the children. Little does <laughs> she know I'm creating a small army of jarlings to start the New World Order. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Wong, uh, lose your job. <laughs> this is abuse. No, this is what we've been saying. This is what this has been fucking building to. This <laughs> is the start of our cinematic universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real life. I, I don't want a cinematic universe. I want our mm. universe. Yeah. Our goal is to be like, we want it to be so you go back to episode one of Jar and it's like, Watching the prerequisites of like Thanos' build up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like a revelation, you know? Like, um, what's a movie with like a really good twist? Like, um, like Dunkirk. <laughs> yeah, Dunkirk. Yeah, when you realize it's all about World War II. <laughs> I want, I want, <laughs> get back to episode one to feel like that moment. <laughs> we got one more. Oh, this is a really awful one. <laughs> no, we don't have one more. I fucking refuse to do that. No, you have to. No, you have. Just to. end it before. If if we if me and James agree that it sucks, just end it now. <laughs>